Drive a mere 70 kilometers east of Regina, and you'll be greeted by a large monument of the head of an indigenous person. This is the town of Indian Head, Saskatchewan. It's been a hot topic online lately. The host of the Canadian History X podcast recently posted a TikTok video about the origin of the town's name. So I thought, you know what, I'd ask you guys, what do you think? Should the name of Indian Head, Saskatchewan be changed to something else? Craig Baird says a lot of people say it's up to the Indigenous people to decide, while others... You have the usual people who see it as, you know, the woke movement and, you know, we're trying to erase history, which obviously isn't the case when you change the name of a town. It's happened many times in Canada over the past century. The official version of how Indian Head was named states that in the 1800s, First Nations people were ravaged by diseases such as smallpox brought west by fur traders. Their remains were placed in the nearby hills and inspired the name. That's similar to the story Matthew Spencer heard from Carry the Kettle Nakota elders. He sees the name as a tribute to history. I believe it's a good teach a teachable moment. It's a very, very good educational tool to see that, uh, you know, where things are in terms of reconciliation, names of towns and uh, names of places like that. Um, I'm not offended at all about it. But others in town don't agree. Métis knowledge keeper Malona Biller was born and raised in Indian Head. She dislikes the name. I've never liked it because I'm not comfortable with the term Indian. And growing up, that was not, it wasn't a, uh, in this town it, back then, it was not a, it was very derogatory. And it was used quite negatively against the people with uh, First Nations ancestry. A community development committee has discussed whether there is interest in changing the name, but it has not been discussed by town council. One councillor says he wants to keep the name. Reconciliation is it's, it's ongoing and needed, but if we keep changing everything, then the future generations will just forget how it came about that that happened. Many in town say young people are pushing this debate forward, but for now, the Indian head name remains a remnant of times past. Laura Sharpaletti, CBC News, Regina.